So today we're going to talk about corresponding angles formed by parallel lines. And it's going to and these angles are going to help us solve some triangle problems later on. So when you have two or more parallel lines right here, as you know we denote that with these little arrows that are cut by a transversal, which is this line which we're going to call line T corresponding angles are congruent. So like this angle of this line in this transversal is congruent to this angle of the second line and this same transversal. Just like this one right here is congruent to here. And the same goes for the angles on this side. So this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle. So knowing that, we need to find the measure of angle 1 and angle 2. So these are the two parallel lines. So their corresponding parts are congruent. So like we said before, the measure of angle 1, since angle 1 is congruent to this angle right here, has to be 106. Because congruent angles have equal measure. And angle 2 is congruent to this angle right here. So angle 2 has to measure 74 degrees. Okay, so our directions are to find the missing angle measurements. Okay, so we want angle 1 and angle 2. So these lines are um, parallel and these lines are parallel. So there's a couple ways we can find out these angle measures. We're going to do both of them. So first, if you look at these two parallel lines, this one and this one, we'll call this one A, this one B, and this one C, and this one's D. So if you look at this one, th these lines are cut by this transversal. So that means that corresponding angles have to be congruent. So this angle between line on line A and line C is congruent to this angle right here, line B on line C. So we can find out that the measure of angle 1 is 87 degrees just using that. Or what we could do is since these two angles are supplementary, we could set 93 plus, we'll call this x right here, equal to 180. And if you subtract that over, you find out that this angle right here equals 87 degrees. And since these two parallel lines, C and D, are cut by this transversal line A. That means that this line, or this angle, is congruent to this angle. So 1 would have to equal 87 as well. So those are just two different ways you can do it. And you can do the same thing to find the measure of angle 2. You can look at it as these two lines are parallel and they're cut by this transversal D. So this angle has to be congruent to this angle. So the measure of angle 2 has to equal 93 degrees. Or, like we did with the other one, you can say that these two are supplementary so you set 87 plus we'll call this y equal to 180 if you subtract it over you get y equals 93 and since these two parallel lines c and d 
are cut by this transversal B, this line has to be, or this angle has to be congruent with this angle, so measure of angle 2 has to be 93. So either way you do it, you'll get the right answer. It's just one way might be a little quicker than the other. So, again we are told to find the missing angle measurements. So, we're going to start by finding the measure of angle 16. So if you look, this line, this line A and this line B are parallel. And right here, they're cut by this transversal G to form angle 16. So this angle has to be congruent to this angle. So the measure of angle 16 has to equal 120. So to find the measure of angle 17, we have to do a little something a little different. So first we have to find out what the measure of this angle x right here is and then this these two angles are supplementary angles so we can find out the measure of 17 from there. So since these two angles are supplementary we can add 120 plus x set it equal to 180 subtract the 120 over and we get x is equal to 60. So then these two angles are also supplementary so we set one or sorry 60 plus 17 well plus angle 17 is equal to 180 we get angle 17 is equal to 120 and to find 18 you can look at it as these two lines B and A are parallel. They're cut by this transversal Z. So this angle has to be congruent to this angle. So the measure of 18 has to be 120 degrees. So we learned about transverse angles today and how they're congruent but next lesson, we're going to go into other kinds of angles formed by parallel lines. So make sure you come back and watch that.